If you can accurately describe the pain your ideal clients feel, then they will almost always be ready to pay for your coaching. So today I want to show you how to use the Answer the Public tool so you can clarify your niche, understand the pain points and design social media content that gets their attention. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin. Many nutrition coaches struggle with building their online coaching business. So on my channel, I help them clarify their offer and attract the right clients to their business so they can build a successful nutrition coaching business online. Answer the Public gives you data-driven insights into the pains of your ideal clients. It means when you design social media content, it will get their attention. It will be thumb-stopping content because these are the problems, these are the questions that they currently have. So you become the mind reader of your audience. And this is how it works. So here we are on the Answer the Public website. And before we actually start using it, let me quickly explain how it works. So if you look at Google, you're typing in a question or a phrase and you want an answer. Answer the Public works in the other direction. So you're typing in a phrase and you get the questions. So let's think about a group of people that we want to understand better and create content for. So for example, you want to work with menopausal women. So we can type in, for example, menopause weight gain. And then we make sure that we select the country that is most relevant for us. So in my case, the US, and then we click search. What we see is this image. But before I scroll down and show you the results, I want you to get into a different mindset. I want you to look at the data from the perspective of a menopausal woman. What are they thinking and feeling when they're typing in these questions or these phrases? Really important. It's not us coaches now looking at data. We are now looking into the mind of menopausal women. So let's scroll down. By the way, 317 results means you have almost a complete year of content ideas already just with one search. So we have this beautiful tree and different, different beginnings, how, are, when, why. And let's start with how. Think about it. What do you want when you type in how to Google. You want to understand something or you want to do something. So let's go. How? And then how menopause affects weight loss. They want to learn something. They want to learn the details of how it actually affects it. How to lose menopause weight. Now they want to learn what are the specific steps how to stop menopause weight gain. Now they're looking for what mistakes am I doing? What I'm doing wrong? And you already get a feeling of what is going on with them. And you also notice something. You have different shades of green. And the darker the green, the more people are searching for this. So more people are searching for how menopause affects weight loss than how to overcome menopause weight gain. This is not only interesting to prioritize certain content, but it's also interesting to design your headlines when they are searching for how menopause affects weight loss. And this is the title of your social media content. Then they think, oh yes, that's what I'm looking for. But there's so much more in this graphic. Look at why. When I'm asking why, when, I, when am I doing this? When I want to learn something, when I want to stand something. So, why menopause weight gain? Why am I gaining weight? What is happening? Can you prevent menopause weight gain? Again, what is happening? Can I do something about it? But there's something else. Not a lot of people are searching for this, but it gives you a deep insight. Is it normal to gain weight during menopause? Think about this. How am I feeling when I type in, is it normal? I'm feeling vulnerable. 
I'm feeling alone, I'm feeling like nobody understands me, and I'm feeling like nobody has a similar experience. So now you can step in and say, it's totally normal. Here we all have this experience. Here you are welcome. So look for this. How are they feeling? What are they doing? What is the problem that they're trying to solve? Just a side note, you can go here and choose data, and then it's a lot easier sometimes to see some of these topics. And again, if you go to the top, that's the most searched versus the least searched. So let's go a little bit deeper. We have propositions, and one of the propositions that I always look for is for. Because when are we asking for? For a certain problem or for a certain pain? And now let's look at, uh, at the data. Menopause with weight gain. So why is it happening? Menopause diet for weight loss. So a specific, they are looking for a specific diet for weight, for menopause, for weight loss. Menopause supplements. Menopause tea, menopause tea review. Now, put yourself in the position of a premenopausal or menopausal woman. When am I looking for supplements and teas? When I'm out of options, when I don't know what to do anymore, when I'm desperate. Now I'm reaching for everything that might help me get rid of this weight. They're in pain. They want to get a quick fix. Understand this. And then menopause foods, menopause exercise, menopause pills. What does it mean? When you're creating your offer, add the word menopause. Make it clear that what you're doing is specific for menopause. Maybe what you're teaching is general advice, and that's totally fine. But you have applied general advice specifically for menopausal women. Why does it matter? It makes your program much more specific and valuable. Instead of general weight loss, you're talking about menopause weight loss. So much more value that you bring. And if we scroll a little bit further down, we see this again. So in this last, um, in this last part, think about this. You type in menopause weight in Google, and then you type in the letter A. And here you see all the suggestions that Google has for the letter A. And then you delete A, you type in B, and you see all the suggestions for the letter B. And notice something again. Menopause weight around the middle. Menopause so belly weight gain, belly weight loss, belly weight loss, the weight gain supplements. So they are in pain, they want to lose weight, they don't know if that's normal, they don't know what to do, and they want specifically to lose the weight around the belly. But let's go a little bit further because there's one more really interesting section. And this is around related searches. So think about people are searching this and also this. And what do we see here? Menopause weight gain, menopause weight loss, menopause weight loss specialist. So you can see the third most common phrase that they are searching is a specialist, a coach who is specialized in menopause uh, weight loss. Then supplements, busters, diet, weight loss plan, weight loss tea, again, they're desperately trying to lose that weight. And now you have the opportunity with your content to position yourself as the weight loss coach, or maybe you flip this around and you position yourself as somebody who accepts these changes, who invites these changes so women can embrace their new body. It's your opportunity. But here you have a deep insight into the mind of menopausal women. If you like this video, please like, consider subscribing because I'm going to show you more ways to deeply understand your niche and create endless content ideas, but also 
how to plan the content, how to attract people into your business, and how to design an offer that really resonates with them.